Florida Governor Ron DeSantis arrived in Salinas and was greeted by demonstrators who were telling the Republican presidential candidate to stay away. Fresh off last night's GOP presidential debate, DeSantis held a fundraiser in the farming community. But as KTV's Mark Sayer tells us, the Salinas City Council even passed a resolution against his visit. As Ron DeSantis' motorcade left the exclusive Corral de Tierra Golf Club, protesters were out in force. The invitation to the event shows it was a $3,300 per person fundraiser or $5,000 per couple. The host names on the invitation are some of the biggest employers and agricultural producers in the Salinas Valley, but those who protested outside the event say Governor DeSantis is not welcome here. So he has written anti-immigration, anti-LGBTQ, anti-abortion laws that has put our people's lives in danger. Protesters are also alarmed that those attending this event are, in many cases, their employers. And so so for a family that makes their money out of people's sweats and tears and sacrifices, it is very concerning because he is not welcome here. Monterey County, Salinas does not stand for that. Earlier this week, the City Council of Salinas actually passed a resolution 6-0, making it clear the council's opposition to Governor DeSantis's visit. The resolution was co-authored by Councilman Anthony Rocha. It's important for elected officials at all levels of government to call out hate, bigotry, racism, and homophobia. And Ron DeSantis' agenda is one full of hate, and it's a dangerous one. But Jeff Gorman, the chair of the Monterey County Republican Party, defended the visit. So there's a big need for dialogue, and I'm grateful that DeSantis came. Governor DeSantis came here and spoke to us. Gorman points out that the big agricultural plants not only provide jobs, but also tax revenue to the city and county, which buoys everyone who lives here. In regard to why people are in such an uproar, I think there is a lot of fear in our community because there are immigration laws that are being ignored, and it's a Republican plank, not just DeSantis, but I think every Republican feels the laws around immigration need to be upheld. While Governor DeSantis' visit here to Salinas was short and the protest was noisy, there were no reported problems. Reporting in Salinas, I'm Mark Sayer, KTVU Fox 2 News.